Neil, uh, before we get to the ice, uh, why was it important for you to finish your degree and what was the process like? How, how long did it take you to finish it off? Uh, it was important because I made a promise to my mom when I signed pro, uh, signed my first pro contract that I'd finished my degree. So that was first and foremost, but, um, in all reality, it's, it's nice to have a backup plan and, and always have something to fall back on. Um, you know, it's, it's good to get yourself educated and, and I was glad to be able to get it done. Uh, it took me, I think it total took me like six and a half, six and a half years, six, six and a half years, something like that. So, uh, two years in college and then four years out of college. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. And you're going to stay on that line. Congratulations on the completion. I'm just kind of curious what it's like. It's, it's such a to balance kind of literally the school work balance for you where, you know, you have young, you have teammates on your team that are literally doing everything they can to gain that extra edge. And you're spending what I imagine is some valuable time in the classroom. Just wondering what that balance was like. Yeah, it was for me, it wasn't too hard to handle um, just because coming from college, like we would have five classes a semester and play hockey at the same time. So uh, you flip that to the pro side, you know, I was only taking a class, maybe two at the most per semester. So, the, you know, that's only that's only a couple hours a week. I have to log into my classes and, and make sure I get my homework done. So um, I was able to balance that and able to find the time. But um, I think at the same time, it was it was nice to have that that getaway, that outlet uh, to think about something other than hockey. Um, you know, it was schoolwork, so it wasn't that fun, but, um, yeah, I was able to get my mind off hockey in that sense too. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Hi, Neil. Can't believe I'm even asking this of a guy your age, but what, what might you do with that degree? Have you any idea what you might do when you're done? Well, hopefully, you know, hopefully I play as, as long as I can. And, um, my initial plan is to stay in hockey after after I play hockey, but you know, I've, I've heard these stories of, of guys, they retire and, and they want nothing to do with hockey ever again. Like, you know, what if that's me? What if I, what if I want to go do something in business or go do something in marketing? Well, now I have a degree to fall back on. So, um, like I said, it's, it's more of a backup plan than anything. We'll go next to Kelly Moore from CGOB. Go ahead, Kelly. Hey Neil, I just want to go back to Sunday night because you've also been involved in a, a couple of, uh, you know, where you've, dished out a couple of pretty good hits and I know Derek uh, we were all expecting the code to come into play uh, you're on the ice when that happens can you take us through that process you know leading into the game you know it's going to happen it happens to be your defense partner uh, you know and, and have you ever been involved in having to answer the code um, yeah I mean you kind of you could kind of feel it coming um, I thought Derek did a good job handling it um, have I ever been involved in that? No, I don't, I don't think so. Um, well, I guess, I guess I've been on the flip side of that where somebody, I guess, run my, runs my teammate and, and I got to go make sure they answer the bell. But um, yeah, I thought he did a good job with it. We'll go back to Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weber. Uh, sorry, Neil, just going back to the, to the degree. I mean, what was it about business that, uh, you know, caught your, and marketing that, that caught your attention and, and what was it like to fulfill that promise you made to your mom? Um, I think the, the business and marketing thing, um, just, it just kind of came naturally to me, I guess my mom has a marketing degree and, and, uh, my dad's, uh, involved in business as well. So kind of been around that aspect my whole life. And, and, uh, I think it was really fulfilling, you know, um, I remember sitting down at the, at the dinner table, having that conversation with my mom and dad, deciding whether I should turn pro or not. And, and that, that was obviously a con in the con side, like it's going to be hard to finish your degree, you know, if you leave school now and, and it's going to take a lot of time and, and not only that, but a lot of money. So um, my mom made me promise before I put my name on the dotted line. So uh, I was, I was glad to fulfill that. And final question to Jeff Hamilton from the free press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey Neil, you're playing some incredible hockey, but I'm going back into the, the, the degree thing here. Just curious what your favorite, uh, were you a typical, like obviously you're not a typical student, but you know, the relationship with your teachers, you're in the National Hockey League. Did you ever have that moment where it was like, holy smokes, I got a project due tomorrow, but I also got a game, like kind of looking for that kind of insight. And also since it's business, so, you know, is there any concern for your agent when it comes to negotiating your next deal? <laughs> uh, no concern. No, he's, he's a good guy. He's, he's good to go, but um yeah, there, there was one time that I was thinking about this the other day, actually. Um, I was playing world championships in Denmark. Uh, and obviously, there's a big time change, right? So I had to make sure I kept up with my deadlines. But I also never wanted to do homework on game days. So there was one night, 
I think I was over there and, and I found out that I had a paper due the next day and obviously I wasn't going to do it on a game day. And at, at world championships, you share a room and I happened to share, be sharing a room with Jordan Osterley. Um, and I had to type a paper, but my, I felt like my laptop was making so much noise that I, I literally went and sat in the hallway at like midnight and typed a paper out. Um, it didn't take too long and I wasn't up for too late, but it's just kind of bizarre that I, had to, I was at world championships sitting in a hallway typing a paper uh, before one of our games.